Hey, what's up? Back again with another little deck profile. Now we're gonna feature Josie, also aka Jesus with his long hair. He's gonna feature his Blue Jean deck. Hopefully, you guys like it. You know, comment, like, rate, subscribe if you like it. Not troll, we don't go fuck. And go for it, Josie. Alright, man. Just jealous of the hair, huh, Jimmy? Yep, pretty much. Alright, guys, so I play a standard 3 Amato. Engine of the deck. Add any Blue at the end phase. Dump a card. Pretty simple. Um. I don't know. I would never cut him down to two or one unless I'm forced to. Then, double Mikazuchi. I've seen some people just cut him down to one since Hirumi came out, but he saves you, honestly. I mean, he adds your Buja Carnation and everything. He, him with Yamada, that's the best play you have in, in the deck. Then I play two Hiromi. Uh, I play her at two just because she's a good card, but you open with her or, you know, two. At one point, two can get, also get cloggy, but. Three just kills your deck. You run out of targets in your graveyard and Bujin Carnations is dead. Then I play for the for the Bujinji. Two hair. Two turtle. Yeah. Three crane. I mean you guys know what all those do, and then I'm taking one guy, one sinew, the mini honest. A lot of people don't like running him, but I've seen him just as a little defensive card, just that one turn saves you. I mean, he, I've gotten in game because of him sometimes. A lot of players forget he's in the graveyard because they think he activates in hand, since he's called Mini Honest. I play one Quillen and just standard. I like how these two are opposites also. It looks pretty cool in the deck. The one Honest, I mean, self explanatory Honest, just wrecks everyone. Then for my spells, I play one Soul Charge. Just because I really don't like losing life points over something and they get, end up getting bottomless or torrential. One Foolish helps a lot early game setup. One Dark Hole, one Book of Moon. This screws up so many players. Gear Gears, everything. Man. Just stop, just change to the summoning, it stops them. Double Bujin Carnation. Just my Monster Reborn Return to a Different Dimension. One turn comeback. Double duality, just because I like special summoning since Hirumi is out, and with Soul Charge, Blue Incarnation, I rather run this at 2 over 3. So I want to be able to special summon as much as possible. Kaiser shuts down almost every deck in the format right now. Gives the advantage just from turn 1. Double lands, just because I, I don't have room for the third, and I already have Cra um, Crane, Turtle, and Hair to protect me. Triple Tanky. Main searcher of the of the of the deck, I don't know. Just I think seems staple at three in this deck. Three mystical space typhoon just because back row is what kills you in this deck. And I would in every deck I see it as staple at three. For my traps, I tag one Phoenix Wind Blast. It helps me get a lot rid of a lot of problem cards, especially if late game. I can just top deck one of my opponent's monsters so I know what they're gonna draw and try to set up for it. One warning and one Blackhorn. Blackhorn has gotten me so many games, it saves him just because a lot of people don't expect it in Gujin, especially in the main deck. And two Vanities, just for a control aspect. If you don't special them that much, you want to limit your opponent's options, especially with these two out, your opponent has, their options are very limited. So that's my main deck, 40 cards. Majority of it are spell, spell cards. My extra deck, I don't have a full 15, just because I don't know how or what else to put in. I play one Cowboy, just for the last burn for game. One Abyss Dweller, since Fire and Ice Hands are running around everywhere for Dark Lords and Mermills. One Exiton Knight, to clear the board and I'm falling behind. So good. One Paladynamo, just for that one turn, just get over something I can't get over. Bezo or something like that, and the draw is always a plus. Diamond Dyer, get rid of any problem card. 101. I don't think I'm reading to show you guys the great card. Um, Tiger King. Just get another tanky. Number 103. She's a new card that just came out in Primal Origin. Then this card, it's been used against me. It wrecks me. My uh, my team member Jimmy he just loves that card. Uh, 3 Susano O. I like playing 3 just because his effect is great and he really does get the, get the deck going. One Kagasuchi, just with a mill can kill me, and also I rarely go into him. When I do, he's good, but alright. And the new one, Bujinji, Bujinki Amaterasu. Yes. I, I haven't gotten to her yet, but she's she's an okay card. For my side deck, I play one Fossil Dyna, just for swarm decks. I want to set this, and with 
um, Vanities and Kaiser in the main deck, I rarely have to use him since I try to keep control on his, on my own. Double space just because I don't like back row. Close force for Madoches, for Gravekeepers that shut me down completely with that Negro Valley and for Dark Roads. Memory of the adversary just for this mirror match or against um, Fire Fist so I can take their bear. One full house again, I hate back row. I hate back row. Mind Crush, just good. Any like mirror match, boobs against um, Fire Fist, even Gear Get Karakuri, the search is. It can be a difference between game or surviving one more turn. Just Tornado, again, back row, really don't like it. Another black horn, just to keep more control. And the last four are wiretaps, again, back row. Traps are the main thing that stops Bujins at game two and three. I try to eliminate them as much as possible. Alright, so that's my deck profile, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, subscribe.